Welcome to episode three of, or yeah, episode three. Oops, of we play visual oh, yeah. novels. Episode three. Episode three of we play visual novels, where we attempt to play visual novels. And uh, I, last week was pretty successful. We played through the whole game. Um, this week we will be playing date almost anything, and we will see what happens. Today I'm joined with Libby, Danny. Caramel Moon Man and Pixels and Pins. I'm reading off my phone. I'm sorry, my brain hey. does not work that fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Sorry if I. <laughs> well, I butchered. Yeah, I butchered everyone. Yeah, I'm cutting out just a tiny bit. I'm cutting out. Oh dang. Okay, is that better? No. Uh, not in full circle. Why is it weird? Or yeah. Daniel, or Dan. I voice things as well, and play a lot of video games. So... G, because I don't know how to put games on my Twitter handle. It's fine. All right, I press start. So I hope you guys have a cool name. Oh uh, shit, we didn't come up with anything. Smill with. Smill with. All right, done. Smill with. Who wants to be the main character? With the question marks. Is she the main character? I can. I can be main character. I guess. Yeah. I, I I just said I don't have to though. Yeah, you can't call me the main character. Sam. Well, no one no one volunteered. <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? Oh, well, it comes down to who wants to date almost anything. Yeah, I'll just do it. Okay. Who? I barely made it in time for my first day of work. Now, where is my name tag? My name is Smillworth. And how do we spell that? Two I'm L's? spelling it S M I L L yeah worth. Capital W? It's nah. Smillwith. Like well, uh, not really. 
Yeah, Smillwish. I with, like it. With one F or two at the end. <laughs> I said TH. TH? I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going so with that one. What? Got it. Fine. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Starting from today, I'll be a barista at Starbucks Coffee. <laughs> Starbucks. Hey, Starbucks. It's my favorite knockoff brand. Right? Like right? <laughs> I go. I always love to go to uh, Starbucks for a good um. Starbucks. Gorfacino. For a for a camel Michiato. Do they have a Starbucks location at the nearest McDonald's? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think they're also located by uh, Burger Queen. Who wants to be Grace? Yeah, it's Grace. Grace. <laughs> hey, Smill with what's up? Ready to make some coffee? Grace and I have been best friends since grade school. I feel like I should narrate being the only non-voice actor in this cast. <laughs> <laughs> That's just your designated role now, yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> it's not fair because the narrator has the most lines, but it's whatever. <laughs> Thanks to her support and encouragement, I was able to get this job. Still nervous? Relax, you'll do great. When a customer orders a drink, all you have to do is follow the recipe. Here, let's practice. Oh, I hope this is not a mini game. Oh god, it is. No! It is? Give me a tall, hot chocolate. Yeah, I, I skipped a little bit ahead, and, um... Oh, oh dude, I love Cookie Mama. Chocolate <laughs> steamed milk? Whoa. Oh, um... Fuck, I messed it up. I think I messed, I messed it up. I want to go back. Steamed milk? I messed it up. I gotta go back and redo it. Tall, hot chocolate. Do okay, it? hold on. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it right this time. Hold on. Tall hot chocolate. It's chocolate steamed milk. None, apparently. Oh, I clicked steamed milk. Oops. I, I messed up. So it's tall chocolate steamed milk. None. I did it. I That's did it. Bullshit. I did it. Confused me. Because <laughs> I saw steamed milk twice. I know. Me too. So I'm like, still is steamed milk steamed milk? Isn't that what you wanted? Don't you want extra steamed milk? Yeah, I was confused as well. It threw me off. Yeah. Also, let's appreciate the lady in the back just shopping. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known that one day she would be in a visual novel? I'm trying to find if- I'm trying to see if there's any other thing I could find out in the background. It literally says Starbucks on the, the <laughs> poster to the side. <laughs> they didn't even, like, go <laughs> shop it to say Starbucks. <laughs> like, it's got a give the gift of Starbucks. Enough, right? I, I would absolutely have photoshopped it to say Starbucks. <laughs> just not even good, just well, like, not e too. Yeah, you just put <laughs> it, it, you put it in good. paint. You, you, no, no, uh, no. no. No, see, so, you know, you do a really, really, really good Photoshop that no one notices until they're like, oh, ha, ha, Starbucks, wait a second. Oh, it says Starbucks. <laughs> wow, that's dedication. <laughs> to a background yeah, gag no yeah, one saw. Hot, 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 10 out of yes. 10 immersion. Yes, I got mine. All right. Sweet. Let's see how you did. Mmm. Dot dot dot. It's delicious. Smell with. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Aww. You totally got this. Let's get the show started. Ding. Oh. I thought that was my doorbell for, <laughs> for a minute. First customer. Oh my god, I absolutely did too. Hi, welcome to Stirbox. What can I get for you? Oh, first customer. I'll be first customer. Hey. I would like um, a regular black coffee. 
No sugar or cream or anything. Why the fuck did you come to Starbucks? Because <laughs> I want a regular black coffee with nothing in it. I don't know how to work a coffee machine. What size would you like? Tall, grande, or venti? <gasps> oh, why is this so complicated? All I want is a stupid cup of coffee. I'm guessing it's like small, medium, and large. This is really stressful. I should have made coffee at home. <laughs> I could have made free coffee at home. Instead, I went outside and spent like, what, $7? <laughs> um, I would like the lar or uh, venti, please. Will that be all? Yeah, I guess. That'll be three sixty-five, please. Unrealistic, too cheap. Holy cow! It's so ex <laughs> it's so expensive. Right? Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I could have made my own for way cheaper. Leaving the house was a mistake. That's what I tell myself every day. Thank you very much. May I have your name? It's Sheldon. Of course it is. He looks like a Sheldon. <laughs> Thank you. We will call you when your order is ready. Okay, smell whip, go for it. One venti black, black. coffee. Venti black coffee. Black okay. coffee. Dark, Dark roast, roast none, none. none none. Dark roast none none. Dark roast none none. Dark roast none none. Dark roast none none. It was oh crap, it's a venti, right? Yeah, yeah it was a venti. <laughs> none. Where's the dating anything? I didn't want to make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what if this is a setting? They set it up to where you date the customers, but in actuality, you date the different sizes of coffee in the different content. Mmm, tricky. You, you may be a tall, but you're a venti in my heart. It's beautiful. Yeah. You don't really mean that. You should put that valentine in the mail and send it to your sweetie. Send it to myself, sure thing. Done already. <laughs> Sheldon, your drink is ready. Bozinga. Here you go. <laughs> One venti black coffee, no cream, sugar, or milk. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Not bad. Thanks. Wow, smell with great work. On to the next customer. Is this just a coffee making sim? I'm so, like, uh, I want to date the coffee. I don't understand. Hi, welcome to Stirbox. What can I do for you today? Oh, second customer. Oh my. Good morning, miss. Lovely day, isn't it? It's beautiful. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I am. A grande cappuccino would be wonderful. I can't decide if you're if you're Metaton or him from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and that's one grande cappuccino. Will that be all? Why not I'll both? I'll tell you when I'm right. finished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One forty-five, please. Oh dear, I only have a ten. Oh. Here, keep the change. Can I work at Starbucks, please? <laughs> right. Sir, that's very generous of you. Don't worry about it. Pocket change is quite burdensome to kill. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so distracted by this guy's left shoulder. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, it's very, it's very vogue. I think he should get that checked out. I have your name. Zane, a pleasure to meet you, Grace. Same to you, sir. We will call you when your drink is ready. Never talk to me again, please. Gosh, what a nice man. I still feel kind of bad about taking his money, though. Anyway, it's enough talk. Smell with it's your time to shine. One grande, grande cappuccino. cappuccino. Okay, grande cappuccino is espresso, espresso steamed, steamed foam. foam. Okay. Espresso steamed foam. Espresso steamed foam. Espresso. Okay, grande espresso steamed. Get it. Foam. Ooh. 
We're coffee making masters. We can go work at Starbucks. I can't oh, wait for a we'll for managers. a play of this. Zane, your drink is ready. There you go. One grande cappuccino. Oh. <laughs> it tastes wonderful. Please thank the other barista for me as well. Wow, Snowwith, looks like you're getting the hang of it. Now perform heart surgery in the stir <laughs> box. <laughs> On to the next customer. Oh my god. The door. I'm getting oh. panics. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Stirbox. What can I get for you today? Oh, thank you. Uh, I guess I haven't... Okay, I'll just do it. Um... Oh! There are so many delicious drinks to choose from! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh, so we're going with this. Uh, I don't even know where to start! Laying on the ground. <laughs> no rush, sir. I'll take your order when you're ready. What a cute boy. Um... May I have a tall latte, please? It's fucking emoji. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's one tall latte. Anything else? I love this kid so much. Wow, there's cakes and pastries too. Oh, I love him. I love that he talks in emoji. It's the best emoticon. Um. Too bad I don't have the money for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's it for me. Emoticon. Emoticon. <laughs> That'll be three ninety-five. Okay. May I have your name? Okay. Uh, I go by Sammy. <laughs> this is giving me seventh grade fucking. This is gonna be seventh grade DeviantArt flashback. Right. Uh, thank you. Ooh. Like I don't like. I, I love him so much. Tall latte. Tall, Tall latte. latte. Espresso, espresso chocolate steam. Espresso chocolate steam. Espresso chocolate steam. <laughs> okay, a tall espresso chocolate steamed. I like their menu choice items. The little hearts. Those are cute. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Here you go. One tall latte. Give me a meme. Come on, Sammy, give me ah! a meme. Ah! Thank you so much! Oo-woo. Oo-woo! <laughs> it's not oo-woo, it's more like a- oh! It's a wee, I guess, because it's a, a w. Squee? A Maybe wee. like a if she can't, If she can't handle me at my oo-woo, you don't deserve me at my oo-woo. Cause I see some people replace the <laughs> use the middle as an M, and I don't get what it is, so I just call it Umu. I see. Smell with is on fire. Wow, smell with you're on fire today. On to the next customer. I hope the next customer is the girl in the background. <laughs> After serving some more customers, the morning rush was over. Grace thanked me for my help. She said it was nice knowing that I've got her back. She advised me to take a break and look around the place. Where should I go? Uh. Now, first we have to determine how, what are we going to do with Snow Whip? Um, are they going to be as creepy as Stella or no? I don't know, Stella was, like, it's own her own level. Yeah, she she was on another realm, so I think we should, at, at the moment right now, I feel like we should be calm and collected with Smill Whiff. I feel like we could go all, out. Yeah. Go outside. Yeah, because nothing bad could happen from going outside of, a, of Stirbox. I mean, yeah, inside's a corporate, you know, corporate hellscape, so... Yeah, because there's that one girl in the blue sweater that doesn't move. Right? That's terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. She's just like it's the eternal guardian. She's the girl 
that's the that's that you're waiting for her to order and she never orders. And you're Un just unintentional there. horror game. <laughs> Secret Junji Ito monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going outside. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, let's go outside. Outside. Outdoors. Why do I feel like the person took pictures of like their neighborhood Starbucks? Oh, they totally did. And like put it in a game. Like this looks exactly like my neighborhood Starbucks in around my house. Interesting. Like now I'm actually a little bit creeped out, but it's not. It's not. It's not it though. It's you not. See your, you see yourself in the background. Right. Oh God, no. <laughs> You're just there somehow in every picture. <laughs> Okay. Since I was in such a hurry to get to work, I didn't get a good look at the outside of the cafe. The cool wind and fresh air feel great after spending hours inside the small, stuffy shop. The streets are peaceful, with an occasional pedestrian milling around, oh, milling about the storefront. They really want you to go to the bathroom. I do we go to the bathroom then? <laughs> no, it's cool. I don't care. Let's look around some more. So let's, I'm let's okay with looking the, around some more. Let's get all the potential of outside. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what's on the other side of the corner. It's... <laughs> ah! No! It's Zane, I like him. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Caught off yeah. guard. <laughs> I oh my! Caught off guard, I trip on my own foot and tumble forward, yet she's falling backwards. That's forward? Yeah. It's definitely not. But well, what if she's an alien? <laughs> what if Smobif is an alien and her eyes are actually in the back of her head? And so she that's, trips that's, forward. That's why your hair is covering it. I don't understand why developers do that. With no eyes. It's a thing, it's, it's like a self-insert kind of thing. Yeah, but if she's... Got brown hair and pale skin. It's not really a self insert if you don't look she like that. <laughs> Let's make it all the way self insert. No hair, no face. <laughs> Just a yeah. blank like, canvas person. Like so like from about. Eris, but her face didn't load. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was like half a face that, gone. Uh, that was a self insert. Because <laughs> I thought you meant like no eyes and like no mouth. But she mm -hmm. was missing her fit, like her head. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the Will Smith hallucinations took place. Yeah. <laughs> I shall never escape those in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> but he catches my arm and lowers me into a graceful dip. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Mom. Are you alright? Yeah, sorry, I should have watched where I was going. Yeah, because I went forward instead of backwards. Oh, it's because the hair is in my eyes and I can't see anything. <laughs> How embarrassing of me. I must have startled you. So, like, is he just going to pretend he didn't dip me in front of all of these people? Does he do this on a regular basis? Like that thing with his shoulder? <laughs> Say, you look rather familiar. Were you the barista who made my coffee? I, uh, yeah, that's me, good old Snow Whiff. I still have the apron on. <laughs> With a name tag. <laughs> oh, I see. A destined reunion. How fitting. I don't like where this is going. I want to run right. like we ran in um, an Ashes demo. <laughs> I write novels, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> she just grabs the skateboard out of the trash can. See ya, Zane! She just starts skating off. <sighs> no man can hold me down. <laughs> My memory fails. What is your name again? Uh, I'm Smilwith. Nice to meet you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, you. Say, do you believe in Fate? <laughs> no, but I played the game. Uh, what? It's Fire Emblems. 
Um, yeah, not really, or what? I feel like what is my most visceral reaction? Yeah, because <laughs> he comes out of nowhere, he ball and dances, he's like, we, we've been faded by the stars, that we should meet. I felt like I met you once in a dream, you know, like, uh, Princess Aurora. Dude, I just work inside, I just saw you ten minutes ago. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, that's how I feel right now. What? Yeah, do it. Okay, done. I'm gonna save real fast. What is this guy's deal? One right. second he's dipping me, now he's blabbering about fate? Right? Sorry, I don't follow? No worries, I understand. Sometimes my thoughts are like happiness, intangible and fleeting. Flee! <laughs> Flee! Run away from this guy! Oh my god, he's gonna spend 20 minutes telling you about a screenplay. Um. <laughs> he pulled it up from his 18th century typewriter, <laughs> and he had still inside Starbucks. <laughs> he's like, I finished my masterpiece, why don't you proofread it? And it's just multiple lines of, I'm lonely, please date me. <laughs> <laughs> You believe it will last forever, but it is always gone too soon. Like a lover at a train station. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going off on a tangent again, aren't I? Do you know what a tangent is, my dear? It <laughs> goes on to define it. Apologies, Smilowith. Have a good day. He reaches where his shoulder is, he pulls out a dictionary, he sees the plate, <laughs> he starts looking up what tangent means. Accidentally save the game. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, accidentally save the game. <laughs> if you right click, it goes up to the menu. Anyway. Oh, it does. Oh, oh that. cool. I never knew that. That's must be a repeat default feature I never yeah, knew about. Probably. Well, that was interesting. I guess I should head back inside. I feel like Zane's gonna kidnap us at one point. I, I get mean, that vibe. I don't really know what I would do about that. Oh my god. My brain he's gonna pull out a sword. My <laughs> duel. My <laughs> duel. Like <laughs> yes. He jumps on the table, uses his typewriter as a shield. Duel! Duel! Dude, I wanna sit down. Can I? It's like 5 in the morning. Why are you here? Duel! <laughs> duel! I demand satisfaction! He takes a glove and just slaps people across the face. <laughs> Pistols at dawn! <laughs> I'm just analyzing the background and you can learn so much about Starbucks. One Starbucks? tree for every bag. This lady's wearing a sweatshirt and that guy's wearing shorts. So like what season oh, is it? Oh yeah, what season is it? There's also a person outside looks like they're in long sleeves maybe. Yeah. I'd say it's like early spring maybe it's probably like dead of winter but he's one of those people that just always wears shorts i think it's winter because that left like the gift cards look like they might be christmas themed like one of them says joy mm. oh, yeah, yeah. It, it could be <laughs> december like late fall it could be like october or september because you know how early people celebrate christmas yeah that's, in the that's possible all right, my break ends and I continue working behind the counter. Before I know it, the sun is setting, signaling the end of my shift. Hopefully the long ass the fucking time. shift. What kind of archaic time system do they use for their time clock? Right? Low and low, the sun has lowered beyond the horizon. Day the shift, fuck out. Sun has set. <laughs> now leave home for rest. Another day tomorrow. Coffee. Coffee. Days the next day, the <laughs> next day show, uh, shows are just writing in on a board of work. Another day, hunt. What? Hi, how can I take that? Uh, it's like not even a board. It's like a, it's, like a, it's like a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like historically accurate. Who cares? Days turn to weeks and weeks turn to months. Same place, same time, same motions. And no dating? Like, what's happening? Everything. 
Everything is the same yet ever changing. The world does not sit still for a nameless girl. But you're not nameless, your name's Smilwhip. Yeah, clearly. Day in, day out, faces pass, people go. The voices mingle like milk and sugar. The features melt together like coffee and cream. See, I like that. I like that turn. That's good. That's good right there. Really draws me into a coffee simulator. Once you've met one, you've met them all. What if it? What if it's date almost anything, but the but it it means you almost date anything, but you never really get there. <laughs> it's just a huge like ten hour tease of nothing. I will feel there. so trolled. <sighs> What's up? But nothing is ever quite the same except one constant. You. Oh. The world moves on, yet you seem oblivious to the rising and falling of waves, the growth and decay of foliage, the birth and death of life. Eyes closed or eyes open, it makes no difference to you. You simply exist. You are content. Smell it for you, okay? This is like this is like some fucking like nihilistic barista, like created by did I. Did we just beat the game? Did I just? What if we were supposed to go to the bathroom? What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like flipping through everything. Hold I on. feel so personally attacked right now. Okay, what here we go. It? Here we go. Oh, there's some stuff happening after credits. Click, click, clicking. Background okay. photography by me. Yeah, I knew it. It's getting a little weird. It's cool. It's a little meta. It's a little meta. It's not over. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you still here? Because I've watched enough Marvel movies to know how this works. <laughs> right? More importantly, how did you get here? This is a dating sim, right? Shouldn't you, like, end up with one of the characters or something? So how is it possible that you still ended up without a date? Listen. <laughs> Seriously, I gotta applaud your effort. It takes skill to end up single in a dating sim where you're supposed to date pe- Listen. I mean, thanks, I try my listen best. Listen here. <laughs> feel personally attacked right now. I gave you like I do, four right? characters to date. <laughs> And you blew it with every single one of them. Wait, four? Maybe. Yeah, I think you can take Grace? You could take the coffee? I don't know. <laughs> All we did was go outside. I feel so personally attacked. Somehow. Okay, I'll admit, I'm a little offended. I spent effort making this game. Writing this story. Drawing this art. Composing this music. Taking pictures of Starbucks. He didn't even mention that. <laughs> Aren't you gonna appreciate the masterful storyline I crafted for you? Go on, play the game like it's meant to be played. I'll even walk you through the process. This is a rude narrator. <laughs> right? You feel offended. First, navigate to the hearts on the bottom of your screen. This Click is your HP. Make sure you don't get killed. Do I have to read all of this? Like, I'm. <laughs> Just click through. I, I click through ahead of time. I want to see what happens. So. All right. Good. I'll wait. Waiting. Waiting. Oh, is it just gonna keep saying waiting until I click something? Look. If you keep going long enough, it gets mad at you again. Maybe that was too complicated for you. Let's try a simpler <laughs> method. First, locate the right the right mouse button on your mouse. Press down firmly on the right mouse button. This should take you to the preference page. Oh. What's it? You see, this is why there's so many angry reviews on this page. On the. Are the there really? Page. Yeah. Are someone, there angry reviews? Yeah, someone made like a two-paragraph rant about it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually loving this right now. Like, I think it's cute. Like, I think it's probably there's probably a reason for it. We're about to find out what it is. So I'm supposed to return to the main menu. I guess so, that's all I could figure out. So I went back to main menu and restarted, and then I, um... I'm at the my name is section. 
Oh my god. This is like that movie where you just keep living the same day over and over again. Groundhog Day? Yeah. And See what I think they- uh, Go on. No, I was gonna say except it's like you have to get a date. Yeah. I think that there's probably a persistent data point save at the end of the game somewhere. Uh, the persistent variable save somewhere. And that it's been flagged and now when we start over, it's gonna be a little different. Um, I'd so. be very impressed. I mean, that wouldn't be a difficult thing to do. You just do a persi you just do a variable persistent, and then um, when you restart the game, it'll be there. Yeah, interesting. Uh, it's like when you uh. Now I get it. I don't feel like explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> so do I? Do we read all this over? Do we? Skip no, let's just let's. Okay, so let's, I got the name. Let's rename or something good. <laughs> rename it. What's wrong with? Smill with. How about, um, how about, uh, what's an anagram of Will? What's another anagram of Will Smith? Hold on. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up right now. I anagram am too. I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing an anagram maker. Will Smith. Get anagrams. Every time I hear Will, Will Smith, I die a little bit inside. I just want Whilst you Mill, him <laughs> twills, hims twill, shim twill, Smith will, whims lilt. Whims till, whim tills, whim lilts, whim still, wit mill, whist mill, wit mills, with mills, high twill mess, miss, miss high twill. How about that? You're gonna have to spell whatever. High twill, to. Uh, high twill miss. That's what we're going with. Or about miss high twill. Miss high twill. Like miss, like it'd be m s, it'd be m s h i. Twill. Miss I Twill. There we go. So we hit Will. Or no, don't hit Will. <laughs> <laughs> or we're saying hi. We're saying. I don't know. That's what I'm going for. It won't let so me do a period though. Oh damn. So if it's I Miss High Will or Twill, would it technically be Miss Twill? Man, I don't even know. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Should we just like keep skipping through until we get to like our first choice? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna skip through until you get to the first choice. Hey, Grace. Do we have to make coffee again? Again, apparently. Oh. Let me make coffee again. Let me just pick anything. Tall hot chocolate. Happen. Tall hot chocolate. Tall hot chocolate. Okay. Oh, oh, chocolate, it. none, none. I, I fucked it up. up and she's chocolate at me. Yeah, she's mad at me now. <laughs> There's the doorbell. I'm gonna skip all of that. Yeah, I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna like... Oh, hey, Sheldon. What's going on? There's a black coffee. Yeah, because he, just, he, wants, a, he wants a venti, dark roast, none, none, I think. Not bad. Okay, I'm getting all their coffee right, so I don't know how to like. Let's see, are we supposed to mess up their coffees? Is that what? Grande cappuccino, espresso, steamed foam. Like, are we supposed to mess up their coffees? Is that a thing? Um, that's what I'm doing because I'm too lazy to play the. Yeah, game. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna mess up his last coffee. Grande cappuccino. He's very upset at me. Sammy's very upset and messes coffee up. Shut up, Zane. I can't. I can't mess up. Sammy's okay. just sort of the principal because he's so <laughs> horrible. I got Zane and I got Zane and uh, Sheldon's right. And I messed up Sammy's. Okay, so I'm waiting. I'm on the stay inside. I go outside. Go to the bathroom. All right, I'm catching up. Ah, oh, now I gotta go back. Tall latte. Okay. Sure. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go back outside real fast because I want to try something. I want to check something. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do scum. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save scum for a minute. Espresso chocolate milk. I'm gonna save scum. Okay, here's the CG. I got back to the CG. I'm gonna say something different when he asks about fate, and see how that changes shit. Okay, I'm at stay inside, okay. go outside, go to the bath. I feel 
I feel I, like we need to go back to the back. I am um, okay. What I did is I went outside again real fast to, to redo Zane stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna see if it changes anything. So I'm gonna say yeah to the fate thing, and then see if that changes anything. Okay. But yeah, y'all, y'all decide. We can wait there for a minute. Yeah. Oh God, Zane has some backstory. All right. Okay. I'm I got different. It. I got completely different dialogue after saying yeah. I believe in fate. So I guess he just didn't like that you shut him down. So I guess so. Rude. Okay, let's see. I'll see if that changes anything. So where are we all at? Okay, so I'm skipping ahead, but give me one sec. Oh! Okay! Okay, shit changed. Okay. Right. So, um, if we want to do... It looks like Zane's route, we just don't shut him down when he asks about fate. I mean, but first, right. we have to figure out who are we gonna go for. Are we gonna go for Sammy yeah. Zane, Sheldon, Bazinga, Zane. or? Well, what I just or... saw of Zane's was pretty interesting, but we can we can do anybody else. Um, it looks pretty short. We could probably do all of them. Okay, do you want to go in and do Zane's then, and start with Zane's because we already started that way, or? Yeah, let's yeah, just I guess. Jump by messing up all the coffee. No, I, I wonder. Want to Okay, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna go skip to the. Are you trying over? I don't want over. I want to load. I don't want to save. Fuck you. Um. Okay, so we got, are we gonna are we gonna try to go for Zane? We're we gonna try somebody else. I guess since we already know how to get Zane, we should do that first. Yeah. Okay, so we go outside. I say we skip all this again. Okay. I'm just telling. I'm just telling everybody what to do. I should stop and then look around some more. Was the next one? You're the one who knows what to do, so. Yeah, well, yeah, so I just say it's come a little bit. Well, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not safe, it's not safe scumming in a visual novel. That's how you're supposed to play it. <laughs> you're supposed to save before all your choices. I mean, that would be the smart thing, but. That's what I always do. I, I literally always do that. I never save. I live on the edge. I use wall I, I just cheat. That's oh, I just, I just save before, I save before every, uh, choice and then go back if I need to. You can always just scroll back too. Hey! <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, because hey. I think well, some, well, some, well, some of the first visual novels I played weren't like the ones that were built in Red P, and a lot of them you couldn't scroll back. Like, they were like the ones like from Japan. And so, like, in a lot of those you couldn't. Ones I played initially you couldn't scroll back in, so I didn't get in the habit of like. Nobody, knowed what a vi nobody knew what a visual novel was. I can speak English. I promise. So, do we say yes to this guy, or what? Yes, you say yeah. Alright. So, when he's like, do you believe in fate? You go, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess. I mean, I guess, right? It's like, you can change what you eat for breakfast or whatever, but there are certain major events that you cannot alter. These choices are the ones that will fundamentally change you. Whether it be losing your job, falling in love, or something else. No matter what choices you make or what paths you go down, fate will always find a way to steer you back on track. Hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss High Twill. <laughs> you, are <wise. laughs> you are a wise woman. Once, a long time ago, I was a promiscuous fool. I slept with many people. Oh, Zane. Of course you did. Why are you telling me that? Oh, I, knew the, I, I feel like the voice is a little inappropriate now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's even better. Keep going, we're already there. Keep it rolling. The, oh, when I got <laughs> bored, I moved on. Then, I met him. He was unbound by the laws of physics. Um. He was destiny. We were happy together. And I was going to marry him. Talk about God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he betrayed me. I found <gasps> him in bed with another person. Oh, so, poor Zane! I feel kind of bad now. Was it fate? Was it my punishment for the hearts I've broken before? Probably. From that day on, I never looked back. Yet, 
I've never moved on either. Oh, I'm actually I'm loving Zane. In the twilight. I know, right? Like, like once you get his route, you feel kind of, you know. I. Oh dear, I'm going off on a tangent again, aren't I? It's pronounced tangerine. <laughs> Apologies, <laughs> Miss Hartwell. A tangerine. Your words bring truth. They are keys that open locked doors. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Well, that was interesting. Zane, are you okay? <laughs> the guy seriously just told me his life story. Are you okay? I guess I should head back inside. It's this loop again to us. Oh, oh. Okay, I went too far. So, everything we read before is all the same? Except, it looks like it, yeah. yeah. Except it doesn't go to the credits. So yeah. Just click through it. All right. Good job, Ash. Got us a date. Woo! Hey! We got Pretty Boy Zane with a broken heart of gold. Good afternoon. Hmm? <laughs> I'm skipping ahead and I don't know where anybody else is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Libby. Ooh, look at Sporty Zane. Look at, look at this prim boy. His shoulder's still like that. So, <laughs> that lady's yeah, that's still the in the back. I think we're <laughs> trapped in Twilight. This has you to have be to it. know a good chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> My bone's been sticking out for more than three days. <laughs> Do you have any more of those tangerines? <laughs> I think I might have scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in my shoulder. <laughs> You know, I've never met somebody with skin as red as mine. Do you think that's a problem? <laughs> well, he's obviously, um, he's obviously a POC, and you shouldn't be uh, offensive. My bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying shit. His name is Zane. He's gotta be white. Like, it's like the whitest fucking name in existence. <laughs> what do you mean, like those super tan white people? The black guy from uh, High School Musical. I don't- I don't never saw High School Musical, uh, I wouldn't know. So I had to do High School Musical and play Zane in it, uh, mm. in a high school production. Maybe he's mixed and the white suburban mom named him. Oh, there we go. Fair. That's obviously- that's obviously the answer. Good afternoon, darling. Zane has become a regular customer at the coffee shop. He usually comes here every Saturday during my break. And we hang out and chat. However, lately he hasn't been coming in. Oh. This is the first time I've seen him in three weeks. Hey, long time no see. Because I can't see. The eyes are in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my absence in the past few weeks. Did you miss me? I mean, maybe. Oh, any, w any winks? I love it. <laughs> maybe a little. What's going on? I was busy publishing my second book. Goodbye. The one on commodification and idealization of love and games to media. I fucking told you! I call it! <laughs> it's being developed into a sweet play. We need to wait. <laughs> we need to run right now. I like it. Earlier this week. I fucking call it. You can see my 20 typewriters back there in the corner. Each one making a separate page. <laughs> wow, congrats. I'll be sure to pick up a copy. Which one? I got 20. <laughs> um, Thank you. It will be available both online and in stores, even though people rarely go to the store. Oh, he's so- oh, god damn it, Zane. Ah, oh, Zane. Oh, I, I wanted to like is. you, I wanted to like you, then you got super pretentious over two lines. It's Starbucks. We should have known. Oh, that's true. <laughs> right? He probably came there, right? They're sold in bookstores, and now also Starbucks. You can see right next to my 20... Uh, typewriters that there's a printing press right over there. <laughs> Old school printing press. 
you you see him go over there. He's like mixing all the letters. He like presses it down with super black ink. <laughs> he lifts it up, and there's like medieval like scrawls of like images along the bottom right corner that like monks have been doing. <laughs> and this I think gold filigree. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> He went off on another tangent. <laughs> a way to work in Gregorian shit. <laughs> <laughs> I admit I am awful with deadlines, though, and had to stay up through the night to finish in time. Oh well, like the saying goes, nothing a strong cup of coffee can fix. Oh, Zane, you sound like a cabbage box. Tell me more about your horrible life. <laughs> I'm so shocked. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god. I hate you. Let's I update you almost and anything, you. and it's gotta be you. You gotta be Zane, Daniel. We'll do a let's jerk of it, and Daniel can be Zane. <laughs> so, Ms. High Tweed, how has life been treating you? Anything on your mind lately? Um, Zane? There's something I want to ask you. Is your shoulder okay? <laughs> Please ask one. No guarantee I will be able to answer it, though. <laughs> oh god damn it. Wow. I like already. Sorry. Right? I like you a lot. This is our first love confession in a we play visual novels. Oh man. Oh we well, we finally got there. Will yes. you be my Oh god! Save. Hold on. Save's come. Ah! Boyfriend or friend? I feel like this is like a trick question. And oh. if we say boyfriend, he's gonna get like. Oh no! I'm too good for you. Or My are we heart gonna be like to the printing press? Or he's gonna. <laughs> well, see if we say boyfriend, he might be like um. You he might be, be like. First. Yeah, or he might be like I am. I am too jaded for love. You know, like. Nothing can mend my broken, broken heart. heart. Okay, what, what are we picking? Up to you guys. Too much stress for my heart. Friend. friend. I'm gonna say friend. Yeah. Um, I saved right before I chose this, so if it ends up bad, I'm going back. No. I have to have the good ending! We worked I'm not too hard for this. His other outfit in the profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> I picked friend. Alright. This was not the question I was expecting, but unpredictability does have its own charm. Okay. Henceforth, let it be known from this day on that Miss Hightwill and I are bound by the oaths of our words to remain friends until our dying friends. Did you just friend zone I think I think we just friend zoned each other somehow. Because the time we spent in each other's company is not enough to justify the existence of this friendship. <laughs> I'm sorry, my sense of humor can be considered unconventional at times. As I twill, I appreciate your effort to announce our friendship. Truly, I do. But you didn't download this game to me. Oh, you bitch! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bitch. So He's rude. a crap. I'm gonna go back. I do it. I'm gonna go back. Going back. Uh, going back. Going uh, back. Going back to my old save. No. What if they pulled it to where it was like a whole hour dialogue? Oh my it. god. At, at the end, you're like on a hill. You're staring at the stars. You're you're holding his hand. He puts his hand on your cheek. He, she's the main character's like, I think I'm in love with you. He's like, I love you too. But remember, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walks up and leaves with oh his 20 God. printing presses in hand. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I went back. I'm clicking boyfriend now. This game is such a troll. Oh my God. Oh my. Straightforward, isn't it? This oh, he's blushing. He's so cute. It's a little exhilarating when you put it so plainly. I like it. <laughs> Miss I will I. <laughs> oh God bless it. I'm just gonna cuss the entire game. This is oh so my way. god! <laughs> Come on, Anna, bring out those, those scholar reading skills. Wait, wait, hold it right there. 
You can't ask him out. All right, what? Listen. You barely even know him. I okay. think. Oh my god. This isn't supposed to be a realistic game or anything, but like, come on. It makes no sense. Just because you made him coffee and talked to him like once, he's obligated to date you? Oh, this looks like a satire on dating sims. Interesting. Nah, buddy. You gotta earn it. Oh, God. What if we have to play through the the these really not routes of every character before we have to pick one? Uh. You had options to run, to go in circles, to be a bad person, but you didn't. You persevered. This is a video game, though. You can do the right thing with a click of a button. Minimal effort. Easy peasy. Don't even have to think about it. A shame real life doesn't work like that. Or else I'd probably be rich and famous and not on my ass coding a dating simulator. I mean, you're part of this too, sitting there with your mouth open staring at the computer. You're wasting your time on a game called Date Almost Anything Simulator, for Christ's sake, which is almost as pathetic as the dumbass who decided to make it. Oh, alright. I mean, don't you I mean, have you something better me. to do? I don't, actually. I really don't. Do your work, finish your chores, clean your room, carpe diem. Better yet, when was the last time you started a conversation with a stranger? Made someone coffee. Alright, you know what? I'm feeling really personally attacked right now. <laughs> see, okay, so here's the thing. So I'm clicking further ahead because I'm wanting to see where this goes. And, like, I was, like, totally on board with, like, the, um, meta aspect of it. I thought it was funny. But now it's not fun anymore. That's not fun. <laughs> further along. Like... Like, further like, than where we're reading? Yeah, like, I'm ahead. Like, I've clicked ahead a bunch because I wanted to see, like... I wanted to s see, like, where it goes. Yeah. Um... I'm not gonna go um, to the coffee store and buy some Like, coffee. cause I wanted to see how much longer you were gonna have to talk. Tell me about your day here. One click away. I clicked on it. It just leads to his Tumblr ass. Uh oh. If you downloaded this game thinking it was going to be funny, here's a really funny joke for you. I'm afraid to click next. I click. Nothing happens. Oh fuck you, we're dude. We're stuck. Uh, keep going. It's oh. broken. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're okay. fine. You feel that? That panic you felt when I really don't like this. I feel like I'm in like one of those games where it's like trapped, like sort out online. And that guy I'm, standing I'm clicking, above I'm everyone? Clicking. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hold on. Before you go, one last thing. Zane loves you. These are his words. My words. You would have done all that work to get to the end and not even see the ending. What a waste of time. Which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, I'm just going to end the game here. One big build up to goddamn nothing. I'm going to leave you hanging. Oh, Don't wait, it continues. Keep going, keep going. Let that sink in. See, this is why I'm never the narrator. Too much reading. You seem disappointed. <laughs> Frustrated? Betrayed? Still hopeful because you keep clicking that left mouse button. Go on. Complain. Get mad. Rage quit. Don't play this game again. Close this window. Delete the file, turn off your computer, and finish whatever you were doing before. You'll never want to come back after what I just pulled. True. This would have been so funny if it was just Zane reading it, because I'm just seeing his face in the background. <laughs> <laughs> before you go, one last thing. Zane loves you. These are his words. My words. Wow, that's fucked up. We'll be there for you in spirit. Living is hard. Am I supposed to be offended or not? I don't know. It's it's so I have some I've opinions. I have opinions. I'll let you get, I'll let you get through it though. Zane and I are so proud of you for making it this far in life, just like we are proud of you for making it this far in the game. This is our breakup letter to time wasters, instant gratification, and procrastination. 
This is our love letter to you. Now go out there and change the world. Well, you can read it in your accent. Be better. Now go out there and <laughs> change the world, love. That's it? Yeah, so... <laughs> I get I get what they're going for. I get what she's going for is like this like goofy kind of meta pseudo parody of a dating sim. But I don't know that this was like the most fun way to do it. Yeah. Definitely. Like the first like the like the first if, yeah. Like it came across as like uh, un unnecessarily antagonistic. And like pr like the first time it was funny. Cause it was like, haha, you got to the end and you didn't get to date anybody, you goober. You know, and that was funny. But it's like, there's ways to do a meta game and it be like funny and it's like, oh, we all have a laugh at our own, like, like, um, there's a way to do a parody where everybody involved has a laugh. Where it's like, oh, haha, ha, I'm so silly for playing a dating sim, and you're so silly for making it. Yeah. But, like, the way she did her ending, it was very, it wasn't like, ah, ha, oh, ha, ha, we're all having a fun time. It was like, why the fuck are you reading this? You should, why are you playing my game when you should be out there, like, changing the world, whatever. And it's like, bitch, I'm playing a dating sim because I'm bored lonely. like i'm not lonely but it's like like they're <laughs> supposed to be like fun like that's the whole point it's like it's like a it's like a for like for like yeah for a game to come and judge you for playing the game it's like what was your point the thing with me is that it could have been it, it obviously could have been done great but yeah. my my issue is that when i walk away with this i have nothing to grasp from even if they were like you could have dated these guys but you could also just go out there and date an actual person. That could be done well. But at the, in the end, I don't want to play through all the other routes because I know that's how it's going to go. And yeah. I'm not going to gather anything from that. Instead of learning from the message, hey, yeah, I should go outside and meet somebody. I'm like, no, I'm going to play something else. I have right? nothing, to, no, I yeah. have nothing to, to, I have nothing to reward me for spending my time on this. Yeah, like, it doesn't, you know, it's, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, I feel like it kind of flies in the face of the point of making games like this. It's, like, get, romance games specifically, and the romance genre, is created as an escape, is, is it created as escapism fiction, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be a fun thing you do when the world is super stressful and you want to just goof, goof around and date some dude in a terrible suit with a bad shoulder, you know, like, it's supposed to be, like, a fun thing. Or you sit around with your friends, and you all play it together, and you have a fun time. And, like, I don't know. I don't I don't like the way that she did this. There's different ways to go about it. Like, Had a Full Boyfriend was clearly a satire and a critique on the genre without having... Oh, yeah, exactly, without it being, like, antagonistic toward the player. Yeah. And, like, and there's other games I've played that are, like, meta and, like, interact with the player that do it in a much better way. Um, like, um, things like Thomas was alone, yeah. you know, like they interact with the player in a way that's more of like a interactive experience as opposed to you're a loser, you're playing my game kind of thing. Yeah. But even, even if they did do the, Hey, why are you playing my game? You idiot. That could still be done. Well, it could exactly. also, what if, it could have been like, what if that was a route where you play this dating sim for the characters? But then the the creator comes in like, hey, why well, you playing my game, you idiot? And then that opens a route of you helping the creator, and y'all have a relationship of sorts. Yeah, that could be funny. Of, yeah, that could be funny. That could be done well. And it, it kind of essentially is true in terms of the content creator and the audience. Yeah. Yeah, cause it feels like the whole core of this game isn't humor. Yeah, Which, you know, is 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 kind of the thing when you when you play a parody game of of a genre, but I I can't find the I, word I'm looking for. I feel I like get, the I think humor I know, is I know there. What you're going for, for. The humor is there, but the joke was pushed way too much to it's not funny anymore. It's a punch down joke a yeah. little bit in a, in a way. It's like fuck you for playing my game, it and it's like oh well, fuck you for making it then. Mm -hmm. Okay, 10 out of 10, not satisfied. 
Well, I mean, a little bit. I mean, because what's what's funny though is like it's an otherwise like really well constructed game, yeah. like um like you know like technically speaking and like artistically and yeah. like you know it's cute like it's a, it's a cute little game that I just it's wish they'd gone a different direction with it. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice little mini games, you know. It's 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 a game for me that idea and concept wise, I would love this game, but it just was executed poorly. Yeah. I feel like the title is definitely like they almost. Any, I was right. I made that prediction in the in the in the beginning. I was close. Such a mm. you, you get close. You get close to, <laughs> to Zane, and then nothing happens. And that's clever, you know. But like I said, it would have done it differently. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to play any more of it. Like that's yeah. the thing. Like I, like, I go back to the developer, and now I'm just kind of like, "Fuck you" to the developer. And like, I, I feel like as a developer, I don't want anyone saying "fuck me." Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I noticed when I went on their page, like I see the game, and then I see there's DLC for it. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I guess. It's like, yeah, I could buy this game. I could buy the DLC. What if there's actual routes in there? But why? After playing this, it's like it, why? It, I don't. I don't want to support this. This. This is what I hate about it. This is what I hate about it. Like this game has left me with such a bad taste in my mouth that I don't even like care. About, like I was actually gonna play one of their other games. I was gonna but play. Now game you don't want to anymore. Yeah, I was gonna play one of their other games to be like, oh, oh, well, they make games. I'll play. But now I'm like, no, fuck you. I don't want to play your games now. Like. <laughs> If the DLC was actually the the entire routes, this could have been done well if there was only one route and it was like a short demo. Like, hey, why are you playing this game when it's not even done, you dummy? Why don't you play the actual full game and you have more? Why are you just wasting your time with this one character on this demo? Then maybe that would have been well. But as of right now, I... I I have no care for it anymore. So, like, if there's, like, if there's some other, like, alternate, like, way... Because I'm, I'm looking at the Itch.io page now. Um, and, like, um... And, like, there's, like, a secret end. 11.5 ending. And I'm just, like, I don't want to play your game anymore. You've not made me want to go find these other endings. Because I'm just, like, you're all going to be negative and antagonistic. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, there's also something to say about going into your Starbucks and taking pictures and not blurring out the Starbucks logo and then charging it as a pay-what-you-want pay game. Which, I mean, it doesn't like, sound hey like there. a big deal, but, yeah. like... Yeah, I can, hey there, to, uh, so go on. I was like, I can just imagine if, like, I owned a business and someone was using my logo for money... Yeah, I mean, it's I don't not a know. big project, and it's donate, right? But I'm just saying in general. Weird. Yeah, see, so here we go. Hey, uh, Kaluna is the name of the player character. Her name doesn't come up at first because the PC is supposed to be generic. When you give her a name, in this case Kaluna, she is no longer a generic protagonist, and instead becomes her own character. See so yeah, how the act of naming in this game is treated as discovering, evoking one's identity or individuality, which while she's able to reclaim her character. And I feel like that's clever, but the rest of the game is bullshit. And, like, the idea of, like, using the the player... Like, I feel like that's counterintuitive to, like, what the game is trying to achieve there. Because, to me, giving her a name that is, a, is individ, individualistic to you makes her a more... makes her a more, um... dynamic character than using the default name. Like... I can read I don't know. the spoiler that this guy got on his Tumblr page. It says, oh, what's that? There's, here's a taste of what I mean by date anything. You can date the three protagonists shown on the front cover, your friend uh, slash tutorial <laughs> person, the POV character, me, the unfortunate sap in the background, which is that lady, I guess, mm -hmm. the video game itself. This isn't technically a date, but there's an ending where you watch 30-minute math video in there. So yeah, you can't date everything per se, but there's a lot more variety than the usual dating sin. Which bothers me, because that all seems like it would be really fucking funny. Oh, and, like, snap. 
the 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 funny thing is um dating the woman in the background because there's literally like a screen cap that says she's preoccupied with her phone right now i gotta get her attention i see that that's what bothers me because i saw those i saw that post too and it's like though that all seems like it would be like really fun and really funny and like really like enjoyable but after like the two endings you've already had i'm like yeah I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to go explore the different endings and stuff. And so I, I'm bothered. That's why I'm really bothered by it, I think, mostly. Yeah. It's because it doesn't make me want to play more endings or, like, see what's going on. Because it's like, oh, well, okay, you just told me to go fuck myself in the last two endings. That's great. Especially yeah. Awesome. The first and the second ending you get are... Well, you downloaded this game so you could date someone, right? And then the third one's like, oh, you told someone? Fuck you. You did this wrong. Yeah, like... Ugh. That part I, I don't mind so much, just because it's kind of the idea of dating at all, just being kind of a tease, and almost being able to date somebody, but then it had to go off on on a rant. Yeah. Well, you know what a good game to play is? The D What's stands that? for demon. <laughs> Where you nice. actually do get to date the people in and it. And there's a dragon boy, and that's all that matters. The dragon, dragon boy. Scaly boy. Scaly boy. We got scaly boy, thick boy. We have <laughs> we have the meme lord in the office. And then we have the program. So you have the option to run away from the guy who writes novels in his free time. Yo, that's not that's not an option. That's just a requirement. Yeah, <laughs> like you just leave. There's not like you're not even given a choice. You just go. Okay. Um, trying to promote everything. You can play Secrets um, Untold when it comes there out. There go. The trailer is on my page. Um, I have another game coming out. Snowdrop. I don't know when that's coming out either. In the next month or so. You can watch Context Crew with your time. Or, yeah. Yeah, talk about it. Go ahead. Yeah, me and my friends have a... a we're on Context Crew channel we have that we did. We have a podcast that's on indefinite hiatus. And we had gameplays that are on indefinite hiatus because of scheduling. But we fixed our scheduling. And the project that I've been working on, I can finally start talking about it now. Because we're getting ready to record it real soon. Yeah. We're we're going to be having our own uh, homebrew Dungeons and Dragons series that we're going to start. We're going to have we're going to record on Sunday, which is pretty fun. Uh, I spent two years chipping away at this because I wanted custom made and beautiful for each and every one of them, um, and it's going to be fun. Uh, we're, we're still gonna. It's not gonna come out anytime soon because I kind of want to get a good amount of things recorded, so we can backlog in case scheduling becomes an issue and we don't have one part and then one other part two months later. But that's what we're working on as of this moment. We have D and D ready to go. It's gonna be f uh, good fun memes. It's uh, it's Dark Souls if it's a if it was a comedy. So. Watch out for that. And that's all I got. Alright. If you're into D&D, &D, um, check it out. Um, anybody else working on anything? Uh, Apparently Sammy is a trans girl. Oh, oh wait, didn't they refer to him as a boy though? Hold yeah, on. they did. Me, they totally did. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it's maybe maybe it comes up like later in the in the not route. Is they said sir, and he had an expression like uh, she. My bad. Well, they seem very androgynous. So yeah. maybe it's just the people don't know their gender until they bring it up. Okay, so I actually gave her her name, and now they're still making me give her a different name. Hold on. I don't know why I'm wasting my time in this fucking game right now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm irritated. Like, that's what it is. You're so irritated you want to make it work when it's not going to. Yeah. 
Well, next week on We Play Visual Novels, we will try to play a visual novel where we are not pissed off by the ending. But I can't really <laughs> control that. Tell us what visual novels we should play. Farming Truck Simulator? Dating Sims? John Cena? Adult Boyfriend? Sexy, John Cena? Cena? Super oh, sexy John, high school John Cena High School Adventure. Oh, I think there's or a... whatever the fuck it's called. There, I think there's a Shia LaBeouf dating sim or visual oh, yeah. novel. Um, there might be. Because I remember seeing one where, like, he's chasing you in the woods. You go into this cabin. He, like, cuts your, like, leg off. But oh, then nice. he starts, like, kissing you and stuff. Nice. Just do it, man. There's a, yeah. I could find it, probably, if it exists. Because <sighs> that, that's, uh, that's just... Let me go on, on a little tangerine myself. When I, uh, me and my friend, well, my friend's a film buff. I'm getting into films, finally. But I told him about this, this weird memory I had where I was on the couch with my mom. I was a young kid. And we were watching our CRT TV, and I saw this, this movie. It, it, I remember it vividly. It was a movie about Eddie Murphy that looks like Dr. Doolittle. Uh, he's running around an airport chasing this this baby made out of water, and at the end he finds the 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 water baby, and then he eats him, like he devours the water baby, and that's all I know. I don't know the name, who directed it. I don't know anything else, and it drives me and my friend insane. And we spend every day trying to see is this it, and it never is. So if you know anything about Eddie Murphy water baby movie, please Eddie Murphy let me... water what the fuck. How long have yeah, you been it, searching for this movie? Uh, I saw it when I was eight. I've been searching for this movie since I was 16. Explain it again? So, I don't remember the full movie. I only remember this one scene where it's Dr. Doolittle Eddie Murphy mm. running around an airport chasing this baby made out of water. That like it, it takes the form of a baby. Then it's just like this long trail of water that just flows around the airport nobody cares and then it's this long cat and mouse game until eddie murphy catches the baby the baby like needs to die or something so the baby is swallowed by eddie murphy and then that's it that's all i remember okay i can't think of a single eddie murphy movie where that makes any fucking sense that's the thing we i i rem i looked through every eddie murphy movie try to see but it wasn't, it, there was no Eddie Murphy movie of that. But he looked so much like Eddie Murphy. When did you see it? I saw it, oh, I'd have to say around, I was seven. Like, probably the, ni so it'd be the 90s at some point, right? It would be in the 90s. It had that very 90s, the Home Alone, Dumb and Dumber aesthetic to it. I have no clue what that would be. Yeah, I've been searching for years, and it haunts me to this day. That's what I'm trying to figure out, it's like a dream sequence from something. <laughs> Well, if anyone knows the whereabouts of this movie, <laughs> you can contact Please. Caramel Wolfie. Yeah, contact me, Caramel Wolfie, on, on Twitter and Tumblr. Uh, please, I'm suffering. Please help me make it stop. I think that I should make a Will Smith dating simulator and we should play it. But that's oh. also a lot of work. That I don't want to do. Um, has anyone played Seduce Me? Because I have many opinions about the first three I, seconds of that game. I have not, and I cannot tell you my opinions on air, though. I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important that I don't let anyone know my opinions on Seduce Me. Okay, because I'm scrolling through the list. Um... And I played it only. A few I know. Years. I know some people who are in it. So. Uh huh. Nice. Just looking up Seduce Me. It looks interesting. I, I streamed it. Looks it. Like I, could I give know. It a a, I know a lot about it because of various reasons. Um. Okay. Let's not. Uh. We'll handle it later. What about Doki Doki Literature Club? Everyone's playing that. We could play that game. I Everyone is playing that. that. I've I been meaning to, to play, play that, that one. With someone, because I am a giant pussy. Right? I, I, I kind of feel the same way. Of that? 
because like apparently it's pretty serious. Oh, is it? And yeah, I, this yeah, is parts that get like brutal. really yeah, and we get like super like goofy with it. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that there's some parts that are actually like really um super serious. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. We have some options though. Yeah, there's this game where you like remove your glasses and like you can see the person better but like if you put the glasses on you can't see them it's interesting Ooh. oh i think i saw that on the list i think i saw that on hgo and i was like oh that sounds interesting yeah out of sight yeah all right well since we're not playing this game anymore it's it's bad, I'm, I'm leaving i'm leaving a review on the hgo page oh I no mean, it's not bad it's not bad that's what it's the a review page is for yeah yeah they have reviews um, any closing words? I mean, we can just talk. I don't care. But... Yeah, we can just chill out, I talk. I want to hear Ash's hot opinions. <laughs> um, seduce me? Yeah. Guess we're gonna have to end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm serious. I don't want, I don't want my opinions of seduce me on record anywhere. Like, I'm legit serious about that. I mean, we're still live, so let's not incriminate anyone. Alright. Tell me when we're not live, and I'll tell you. This is the last time I'm going to say this, but you guys should check out Secrets Untold, because I've been working on it for two years. And it looks really good. Just That's watch really the trailer, because the trailer's out. Watch the Daniel trailer. and I are in it. And also Carmen. Yeah. And they're both love interests. You can date both of their voices. And it's not a <laughs> troll ending. <laughs> it won't tell you you can't, and you're stupid for trying. <laughs> it is yeah. not that. You can date both of their voices, so. All right, so, okay, I'll end the stream, because I really want to hear this hot opinion. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching We Play Visual Novels, where we play visual novels. Um, I'm very proud of us. We actually got through two full visual novels. Heck, well, we got through, we got through three routes in this one. Yeah. We got oh, through yeah. three routes. Um... Super proud of us. And follow us on Twitter and other social media, which I will put in the YouTube description when I upload it. Hey. All right. I'm going to go now. Let me. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far. <laughs>